Before we start, here are a few tips about working with green screen. First, make sure you're in a well-lit area that doesn't cause excessive shadowing on your green screen. Next, don't wear green. If you wear green, that part of your body is going to become invisible when you put it into the app. And finally, if you want your feet to show up, you're going to have to have some kind of green underneath your feet. And if you're moving, you might want to purchase a green foam rubber tile to place underneath your feet so that you're safe. All right, let's get started. Let's get started and go on our iPad or iPhone and go to the Do Ink app. When you get to this page, you're going to click on the plus sign at the top and create a new project. My new projects pops up and then down the bottom is where you're going to begin. You'll see that there are three plus signs along the right hand side and there is a timeline along the bottom. I'm going to click on the bottom plus sign. This is going to allow me to add in my background picture. I'm going to go to photos and then I'm going to go to recently added and there's my background of my virtual gymnasium. So I click it in. So there I have my background image for my virtual classroom. You'll notice that on the timeline, it's going to go for five seconds. Anytime you put in a, a picture, it will be loaded for five seconds. All right, let's move on. Our next step is to add a video over top of our background. So go to the plus signs again and click on the middle one and then go to video. And I'm going to put in a video that I recently took uh, where I'm going to be sitting in front of a green screen. So that's done. You'll notice that it comes up very large. So all you have to do is pinch it with two fingers until it's the size you want and then slide it to the place on your background that you'd like it to be. All right, so next we're going to have to get rid of the imperfections in that video. So let's move on. So now we're going to take out the imperfections of that green screen video. There's a rectangle above me in the, on the gym wall that doesn't belong there. And below me, there's a smudge on the gym floor that also doesn't belong there. So what we need to do is we're going to go to the crop symbol uh, down at the bottom. And now I'm going to crop that video by taking my uh, cursor and just bringing down the line so that it's above my head and it takes out that wall where the green screen didn't cover. All right, let's take a look at that. So now it's gone, that's excellent. But we still have that smudge down there. So let's click on the color wheel down the bottom. And when that comes up, you can see all the spots that have been taken out because they were green, but there's a shadow down at the bottom that's a darker green. So what I could do is I could roll the green color wheel until it disappears. But then you notice it's starting to take out some of my sneakers. So I'm going to put it back where it was and show you a different way to get rid of it. I'm going to click on the mask. So I touch on the mask and now um, down the bottom you can see that there's an eraser. And I'm going to take that eraser and now I can just get rid of all of that shadow over there and the shadow down the side. Now, if I were moving, I might not be able to do this because if you move into that shadowed area, your body's going to all of a sudden disappear at some point in the video. But because I'm sitting still, I can use the eraser. Now look what happens. There I am. The smudge is gone and my picture is all cropped. Let's move on. For my last layer, I've decided I want to add some text. So I'm going to go to the plus sign, the last plus sign, and I'm going to add new text element. I'm going to type in the Do Ink Twitter handle. And save it. And now I'm going to position it above my head. Excellent. 
So now if you look down at your timeline, you have the three layers, but you notice that one layer, the video layer, is longer than the others. So let's look at how we can edit our timeline. So I'm gonna edit my timeline now. You'll notice down the bottom there is a wrench and a sound icon. I'm gonna tap on the wrench, and when you do, you get options to cut, copy, paste, delete, trim, and split. So I'm gonna tap on my background, and now I wanna copy that background. I'm gonna to scroll to where the background ends and then paste it there. Excellent. Now I'm gonna go back. I want my text to not start there. I want it to start around six seconds. So I'm gonna cut it and paste it at six seconds. And then get rid of this, cut this one and paste it to the end of that one. Now you'll notice that they all are a little bit different. So I'm gonna slide down to where the background ends and then I'm gonna click on the middle one and trim it. And then I'm gonna click on the top one and trim it so that they all end at the same time. And that should be my video. Let's see how it goes. Today, Today we're gonna learn how to push, push yourself right, right in your virtual classroom, classroom. Using, using the e green, green screen app. Let's, Let's get started. started. It looks perfect. Now, if you wanted to make it so that it wasn't as loud, you could use the toggle to make your video louder or softer, okay? Now all we need to do is export. I tap on the export button up at the top and now it exports to your, you can preview it. I'm gonna export it to my camera roll. We're all done. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.